Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are just doing some fine tuning on Dale the truck and getting him ready for his annual inspection. So stay tuned. So here in New Brunswick, we have to inspect our vehicles for safety. Uh, it used to be every year. Now they're good for two years and the New York inspection sticker that was on Dale will expire at the end of July and we've got to get a New Brunswick sticker on the truck. So we do have the truck up in the air and we've got a couple of things to fix on it before we can go too far. One of the things that does not work currently right here is the license plate light. That has to work to pass inspection. Also, I broke an exhaust hanger. So that's been beating up against the bottom of the truck for the last day and this is the first opportunity that we've had to get it in. And one last thing that I've been meaning to do is this transmission mount, the rubber in it is all beat out. Uh, it's basically just metal to metal there right now. So we're going to take that one out. I've got a brand new one to put in there and uh, we'll get that replaced as well. And if this is your first time looking at my 1977 C10 truck, well, you've all seen what it looks like on the outside. Let's take a look on the underside and get a look at just what kind of shape this truck is in. So the cab corners and rocker panels I've done in a previous video, which I will link right up here. Maybe it's over here, I forget. Um, but underneath this truck, everything is all original and the framework, other than having a little shade of brown to it, is in really good shape. Looks like we might have a leaky power steering box. There's our drop kit with the uh, spindle and the drop springs in the front. And when we come back here, there's the frame rail. Some of those wires are labeled from when we swap the engine. Frame rail come back here. Still has paint on it. It's, uh, it's in really good shape that way. We come back here to the box, and the box, although it's brown, it is dry, and it's not flaky. It's in really good condition that way. And we come back here to the bottom. And these back frame rails, same thing, in really good shape. So there is our C-notch that we've installed over the winter, and uh, that allows us a little bit more travel with this 5-inch or 6-inch drop in the rear. And we've got our new dual exhaust that is uh, giving this thing its roar. So now all we've got to do is we've got to fix a few little things on this thing. And uh, Tim will check the brakes, the suspension, all that stuff. And, then, and I know it's all good because it's all new. And uh, then we'll be able to get this thing stickered for another two years for the inspection. And uh, I'm pretty handy that way anyway. So if anything ever goes wrong, I'm pretty keen to uh, check it out and get it fixed up before it becomes too much of an issue. So. Uh, let's get out those things and we'll be right back. So here is the new transmission mount. You'll see down here at the bottom there's quite a bit of rubber sticking out of the uh, bottom. And on that one there, there's literally none. So we're going to get that in there. So we're going to get that in there and get that lifted up and replaced so that, that uh, we get the proper angle again on that. Not that it's going to change it a whole lot, but that should make it much better. So there's the new mount in place there. And we've fixed the hanger here. I think this thing's ready for a sticker. And there he sits, guys, with a little bit of a shine. I clean the wheels up, get a layer of scum off them and hose down the truck a little bit. But the biggest part of this whole idea is that we now have a sticker on this that is good until July of 20. 22. I don't have to worry about inspection on this thing. Granted, it only gets driven in the summertime. And well, I can't imagine too much going wrong with the suspension or brakes or anything like that because it's all brand new and it will be good for a long, long time. So that's going to conclude this video. It was just a quick little one to show you that uh, we had a few little things to fix up here before we put it through inspection. And now I'm getting ready to call it quits here on a Friday afternoon. It's a warm one guys, it's like uh, 84 degrees and with this humidity it feels like 94 so uh, you just look outside and you sweat so that's going to do it, we're going to call it done for this video. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is 
Thursday evenings at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 local time. And this coming week, it will be on Grant Tommy's channel. I'll put his link right up there so you can go over and subscribe to him. Click the bell notification as well. That way you'll get notified every time I upload or he goes live for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Love you guys. God bless. We'll do it again in the next video.